Uh, congratulations on the film. Yeah. Um, you've won lots of awards already in your short career and done lots of amazing things. But if you get asked to be in a Paw Patrol movie, that's a big deal. Do you feel like this is the the biggest thing you've done so far? Because it's a big deal, Paw Patrol. Yeah, it's probably top tier. Well, it's it's up there for sure. Um, Paw Patrol has always been one of my favorite shows to even watch, and it's kind of like sitting on my TV because I have a little sister as well who loves Paw Patrol, and my cousins love it, and it's just always been a thing in our our household. So I just just being a part of their first film and being a new character. Um, hopefully, they'll love uh, Liberty and see how exciting and fun and energetic she is, and. Um, no, it's it's really exciting and pretty. I'm pretty honored. <laughs> yeah, and it's I, I read beforehand doing a bit of research because I'm not the target audience of Paw Patrol. However, I understand how how important it is for a lot of people uh, that it's sold to like 160 countries, which is just unheard of. It's insane. I mean, that reach is just your audience is is huge across the world. Amazing. Very. It's very exciting, um, especially from the message behind it. I mean, just showing how important first responders are and what they do and showing kids that these are the people who keep us safe um, is always a big thing as well, so. Yeah, and it's a show that I think has been successful, like you say, because it's had a lot of amazing kind of messages and not just about the first responders, but about kids learning to grow up and about being part of a team and all these kind of things. Is, is that, was that important to you in terms of why you liked the show when you were, when you were younger? Oh, of course, I mean, that, kind of showed a staple of just what friends are for and what friends can do if they stick together and um, people that you should, like trust and support. And especially you got to trust like the first responders and all of that into keeping you safe. So having like a cool, a cool friend group that you love and that you'll be down to do anything with and, you know, someone you really can't live without. So it's truly, it's truly a, a great message behind it, especially in the film as well. Yeah. And how much fun is it doing voice acting? Because I spoke to a lot of people over the last year who have had to do voice acting a little bit different because of the because of the pandemic. What was your experience like on on this? Did you have to kind of DIY a room in your house to to do this or were you able to go to a studio and and have some fun? Um, it was a mix of both, if I can remember it, because we we started we started filming it before COVID. So we were in a studio. And I only had one or two sessions before COVID. And then it was a long pause because COVID started to, started to spread. And then, um, then I did one, I believe I was like right here, like behind this wall, I, I had a table and it was just me and them on a Zoom call and having a mic. And then when the restrictions started to loosen, we went back to the studio. So. It was a mix of both. And I feel like I had to redo some of the lines that I did at home because it was just not, it was not it. So um, no, it was, it was a, definitely a mix between the two, but I got used to it pretty quickly. Yeah. And as for, as for you, I mean, you've had an amazing career so far. Blackish is just, I mean, it's just a, an incredible journey for you. Uh, I, I, that show, I mean, could you have imagined when you were kind of first starting out that you get to not only be in a show anywhere, a small role in a show, you'd be part of something that's, really, really important and really special to, to a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, when I feel like with any show, you don't really expect how far a show would go. So when me and the entire cast, we were filming the pilot, it was just like, we were so sad when we had to leave. It was like, okay, bye, because it's a pilot. You don't know what's going to happen next. But yeah. the fact that we've been going on for eight seasons, I've known them for like seven going on eight years is so amazing and something that doesn't happen often and I am just so grateful that I was not only able to be a part of an amazing show that tackles so many different things but to grow on a show and be educated on things and learning so much from it and creating lifelong friendships it's it's uh it's pretty amazing yeah absolutely listen good luck with the show uh and I look forward to seeing what you do next thanks so much for your time thank you so much pleasure take care Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!